So guys, for the first step, you want to find the folder that you're having a problem with, then you want to right click on it, and then click on properties, and then you want to click on the security tab, and then you want to click on advanced, and now you want to click on change. And now once we're here, you want to enter in your username of your account. So if you do not know your username, you want to head over to search and type in file explorer, click on it. And then on the left hand side, you want to scroll down and then click on this PC. And then you want to click on the drive where you have Windows installed on. It's probably going to be your C drive. It's going to have the Windows logo on it. So that's how you know that's the correct one. So you want to double click on this. And then you want to click on users. And then it's going to show your username right here. So mine is called Speedy Tutorials. So I'm going to minimize this and then type in the box right here, Speedy Tutorials. And then click on OK. And now once you've done that, now you want to tick replace owner on subcontainers and objects. And then you want to tick replace all child object permissions. Click on this and then click on OK. This will replace explicitly defined permissions and all descendants. So if you're okay with this, you want to click on yes. And now once you've done that, you want to click on okay. And now for the second step, you want to right click on that folder again, click on properties, and then you want to click on the security tab. And you want to make sure that you have system selected. So select system and then click on advanced. And now once you're on this, you want to click on add. And then you want to click on selector principle. And then you want to type in everyone. And then click on check names. And now once you've done that, you want to click on OK. And then you want to select full control, which will then select everything else. And then you want to click on OK again. And now you want to click on apply, and then click on OK, and then click on OK again. Now you just want to restart your computer, and the problem should be fixed.